Hello everyone, so I'm going to show you what I'm packing up for my trip here. Um, uh, so if you guys don't know yet, I'm biking to D.C. Uh, Labor Day week, you know. I'm leaving tonight around like 3 to 4 o'clock in the morning. And I'm biking straight to it. Yes, I know I'm crazy, okay. So that's 334 miles, roughly give or take one or two or three miles in or whatever. And I'm going to be doing it within about, um, what was I saying, 22 to 33 up till the most 40 hours. So a day and a half to two days, okay. So, yeah, here's the stuff. And some of the stuff you always saw in my uh, gear haul that I did the other day. But starting from over here to over there, uh, first off, as you know, the bags I got. I won't say that name, but the panel bags, they are awesome. And waterproof as well. So that's really good because it's supposed to be raining tonight. It did already this morning, so... We'll have to see about that. I might be riding through some thunderstorms and stuff, so yippee! <laughs> okay, so right here I have the tools here. I did a video on uh, what tools I, I carry for my bike, uh, probably like last year at the beginning of it. So this is a very simplified tools, you know. It's just got some screwdrivers here, um, whatever you call these things for this. Uh, the wrenches. So really, I, I, I could just get rid of these and just carry the wrenches. But I like using these a lot more than using these. So in case of this break, so I got this. Just in case. So, over here, I got the island keys. Again, I have this thing here, so I don't really need these three. But, I like using these. I have these... Uh, fit the stuff on the back of heel to um, move them so I have to carry these so yeah uh, knife two knives uh, multiple yeah. plows no set plows just in case you know something breaks down you need that tools so over here I have the cook set here well not cook set but cooking pot and then I have some matches in there just in case if uh, I need them. I have the lighter here for the stove. Now I have one propane tank. I have no clue how much is in it. Um, it I started it. I cooked a cup of water with it and it worked fine. Uh, so I know the stove works well enough and then I bought another propane tank just in case I know this will last me all week I know that for sure and um also I have a roll of duct tape you know you always need duct tape you always need duct tape so um over here I said it's got the toilet trees and stuff you know medicine and uh the other one I'm getting a uh, a smaller can of hand sanitizer because I bought that with me last year and it's okay, but you have to push down the handle and then twist it. So it gets all over the bag and stuff. So it's much better carrying a small bottle of that. Plus you don't need the whole damn thing. So I just wanted there to uh, show you guys. So over here, have the electronic stuff, you know. A little MP3 player. I'm going to need this. Uh, I'm using my phone as well, but... Um, just in case if my phone won't charge them all, because for some reason it's not charging right now. Of course, everything goes wrong the day you're going to go on the trip. Always. Uh, the battery backup stuff for the solar panel. I have the radio on my bike, so you, you always saw that and you always know how I like it. I love that damn thing. I have my camera, which I'll be using for the trip, only because it has the bet little double A batteries. I can recharge these ones and use these ones as well. I can inter 
in between them two. So um, I can't really use this camel on the trip. I'm going to take it, yes, but um, I can't resolve this one. So, yeah. Okay, so over here, I just got some uh, two shorts. The shirt I'm wearing, uh, boxers, boxers, you know. I have uh, socks. I have the thin hoodie. I have my rain gear. My rain pants are underneath that, just letting that dry up a little bit. Uh, I, I, I don't need that many clothes. I'm only going for seven days, plus my shorts. Um, so, right here, I have a in self inflating mattress. I had to make sure it, it was inflating because I, did, I never opened it yet. <laughs> Bad thing to do whenever you're going on a trip. So, over there, I have. Let me zoom in. It's just uh, two brown tops. Uh, I think they'll eight by tens or something. I don't know. My sister got it for me today and I forget. Alright. So, Right there, I have the sleeping bag. Right there, I have some of uh, the tent poles for the tent there. Uh, make sure that you have all of your tent poles and your tent stakes as well. Because, and, and the rope. Because um, if you using, oh, oh my, I'm zoomed in, I'm zoomed in. No, no, I don't want that. No. Okay, sorry about that. So, if you don't have your tent stakes, your rope, if you need it, I don't, some, some tents you need rope for guidelines and stuff, mine does, so, if you don't have that stuff, you're in a heap of trouble, yeah, so, also, another thing that you should never, never do, uh, whenever you're going camping, is never set up your tent right beforehand, now, I have set this tent up once I, I uh, got it for Christmas last year. I set it up in my room just to get the idea of it. And then I went out in the woods and set it up to um, see how it set up with the guidelines and stuff. But that was the last time I set it up. So about eight, nine months ago. Hmm, this will be a enjoyous trip indeed. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, I don't think. Oh yeah, I have you know, the food. There's my food. I'm not gonna go over it right now. Well, yeah, okay. I guess I am. So I just have a lot of spam. I think like uh, seven or eight things of spam. I have it in the singles. Uh, I got soup. Green beans and um, apples right there. I got some mashed potatoes in there as well. And um, I think there's... Oh yeah, and chicken soup and uh, pouches of chicken as well. So um, high calorie food, you know, for trip. And then um, I have my bag that goes on top of my bike rack. That I have filled up with, you know, junk food um, for on the go. Uh, the the food, if you going to have food for, um, you know, eating along the way, you want to make sure that you can get that right away. That way you don't have to dig through all your bags and stuff to get something to eat whenever you're tired and hungry. So... Have that on the bag on the top or on your handlebars or anything like that. Uh, a website that I was waiting about packing bags and stuff really recommended that you get a handlebar bag for your food, your maps, and all that stuff. So, I, I don't have a handlebar bag because I have my light on my on the front of the bag. Yeah, on the, oh, wow, I cannot talk. Not the light, but I have my speaker on the front of the handlebar, plus a bell. Because in Maryland, you have to have a bell to warn people whenever you pass them. And um, I, I wish someone would have told me that, because I never knew that. Yeah, um, I have the light on the front of the bike, you know, to warn people. And since I am riding at night, you're going to need that as well. 
So, um, that's pretty much covers everything. So, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for bike trip updates along the way. Well, not along the way, but when I get home, you know. I'm talking way too much, so thanks for watching, and bye.